What's up everybody, in this video I'm going to be doing an iOS 7 Beta 2 Hidden Features Rundown. As I know you guys liked my iOS 7 Beta 1 Hidden Feature Rundowns that I did on the first beta, so I figured I'd do one on the Beta 2 because Apple did include some new hidden features that weren't included in the Beta 1, and I figured you guys would enjoy the video, and uh, so let's hop right, it, right into it, to the new features that were actually hidden in the Beta 2. So the first hidden feature deals with Snapchat and apps that you can actually send photos back and forth to each other. If you guys are familiar with these apps, you know that when you send a picture, it automatically deletes, and if the user tries to Snapchat your Snapchat, or tries to screenshot your Snapchat or Facebook poke photo, it won't let them you will be notified. Well, with iOS 7, by using the screenshot feature like so, um, and you take a screenshot while you receive a Snapchat, the other user will not be notified, and it actually has been posted online in multiple websites, so I figured I'd mention it for you guys as a hidden feature in iOS 7 Beta 2. And I know a lot of people are actually worried about this, and it does go to show that Apple or Snapchat needs to work on these screenshot features, but that was a hidden feature in iOS 7 Beta 2 that shows that the screenshot updates have been around, and so Snapchat or Apple needs to update this, but that is a hidden feature. Uh, that I did notice that was posted online. Uh, secondly, this isn't really a hidden feature because I had it in my last video and some of you probably noticed it right off the bat, but voice memos is included again in iOS 7 Beta 2. As you can see here, you can just go ahead and record using the red button and you can also go ahead and view your voice recordings down here in the bottom. As you can see, I have a couple of saved ones. So this works well. I'm really happy they included this in Beta 2 because they really had no version to not include it in Beta 1. So I'm glad to see that they included it as well in beta 2. Siri now also has the option to change the voice uh, to a male or a female. You can also choose the language. And the design has been updated and it actually does load faster. Like I could say, Siri, who won the last Spurs or Heat game? The Heat won the NBA Finals 4-3 to three over the Spurs. They won the last game 95-88. So as you can see, Siri works a lot better, the design has been updated, and then it actually has the ability to change voices and language, which I like a lot. Uh, Control Center has some minor updates here. Uh, it, they changed the icons to be a little simpler, and they actually changed the design to fit the screen better. I know a little bit of it was buggy, especially the music. Uh, so I'm glad to see that they updated that as well. Notification Center works a lot better, it's a lot smoother. Uh, and as you can see here, I can scroll through. They also fixed some notification issues. If you got notifications twice, they did fix that, which I like. Uh, Reminders here has a new updated design. As you can see, it has tabs, which you can scroll down on and edit directly like this, which I like a lot, and it works rather well. I like this new design. And you can also access the clock directly from the upper right to edit and add times directly into your reminders iCloud backups are now back, so you can go into settings and iCloud and go to backup now rather than just backing up to iTunes. That was not included in iOS 7 beta 1, so I'm glad to see that they updated that in beta 2. And uh, overall, some new features were included with Find My iPhone to keep your device more secure, but I'm not going to go into those. The welcome screen when you set up your device was actually uh, including a passcode, iCloud, and iMessage setup, which is interesting. The iPad camera also received an HDR option, and overall, the whole operating system is a little smoother. Messages got some new features as well, like chat heads and sliding to the left in a message to see the time that a message was sent to you or you sent a message. And overall, I really like these new hidden features. I think the Beta 2 is a lot smoother, a lot less buggy, and they did fix a lot of the updates or, or bugs that I actually did have on my device. So overall, those are some hidden features in iOS 7 Beta 2. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to rate thumbs up and favorite it. And I will be uploading a new version of the iOS 7 Beta 2 hidden features, or Beta 3 hidden features, depending on what is actually released when I decide to do my next video. So stay tuned for that next hidden features video. And for more up-to-date updates, be sure to follow me on Twitter, my website, my Google Plus page, my Facebook page, and my website down there in the description. I update those on a regular basis. So those are great ways to stay in touch with me here on YouTube, guys, and in general. And uh, in general, be sure to stay tuned for more videos, and I will catch you guys in the next one. So hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll be back with more iOS and Apple content. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.